Eh, Shalom and Markings of Rakam, Makapash, and Jimmy's Lonely, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shemi Havashai, by Shemi Chachwadash. I want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of Jimmy's, and Shalom, and let to the hope for the expression of truth and all sincerity. Back again with another video. Uh, this is just going to be a quick one. You know, I've done a lot of videos on, on, on this topic already, man, recently, because the news just keeps coming out freaking fast, man. And, and you know, these uh, so called experts and these leaders of this, of this world, you know, they're coming out and saying it more and more, putting it out there that. There's a problem, okay? There's going to be a problem with food supply. Food shortages are on the way. And, you know, we keep telling you, I've been telling you way before now, that famine is prophesied to happen in this world, man. Okay, the world is going to go through a great famine. Okay, people are going to starve to death, right? But, um, you know, you got these guys here acknowledging, you know, the situation right now, which is, you know, they're... they're responsible partly responsible for it because the most has made them you know f up this world uh you know with all these events that have taken place and the decisions that they've made around them right they've, they've orchestrated the situation right that's why they can say it that right? they know it says food shortages are next go with health crisis right because they they, they they orchestrated it so of course they know right they knew from the time they you know from the whole CV, they knew that what they were going to do was going to smash the economy to pieces, man. And smash everything else. That would the supply chains and bring everything crashing down. Okay, they knew. Right? This is, um... Oh, let me read this part, man. Because this, you know, the who, the who always is fucking involved these days, right? The global entity dictating to everybody what man must do, Right? This is French President Emmanuel Macron, Tedros Adhanom, whatever that name is, Director of Director General of World Health Organization, WHO, and Agnes uh, Buzin, French Minister of Solidarity and Health, and Pierre Alexander Sands, British banker, British bank, <laughs> and the Executive Director of the Global Funds to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria Pose after meeting at the LC Palace in Paris. You know, and they you know they uh, World Economic Forum, which has been up there in Davos, and they've got these other meetings, you know, going on. They've always got these fucking meetings going on with these entities and these leaders and, and whatnot, right? Um, going down, this is London, June 7th, okay, that's three days ago. <clears throat> right, it says, growing food shortages may re represent the same health threat to the world as, as the CV uh, uh, pestilence, right? A leading global health figure has warned. Rising food and energy prices, in part sparked by the war in Ukraine, could kill millions, both directly and indirectly. Peter Sands, the executive director of the Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria, told Reuters in an interview on Thursday. All right? It says food shortages work in two ways. One is you have the tragedy of people actually starving to death. But second is that you have the fact that often much larger numbers of people are poorly nourished and that makes them more vulnerable to existing diseases. All right, so they know how this is going to impact the you know the world. Alright. And they know is this is this is the next thing on the agenda. Alright, it's not coincident, you know what I mean? It's not coincident, you know, they the elites have methodically planned this out. If you can read, really, they're just carrying out the, the will of the Heavenly Father, man, on the left hand side. All right, quick, uh, quick mention here from the New York Times. Get this fuck off my screen. Where's this? Don't want to fucking subscribe. So it reminds me of anyway. Title is enough anyway. Right, it says war and weather sent food prices soaring. Now China's harvest is uncertain. Right, sending greater effects on the world. Okay, we see it here. All right. Adding more pressure uh, into this piece of shit uh, into the world, man. All right. Anyway, screw that. But back here, right? Uh, says his efforts to improve the pestilence preparedness should not make the classic mistake of concerning themselves with only. With, uh, themselves only with crises that resemble the most recent threat the world has faced. So they want they want to acknowledge all different types of things that are going on now, which is going to complicate the situation, man. You know, 
That means that, you know, they're going to be asking of the people of the world to do much more than what they've currently previously asked them to, to, to do. Right? We know we've, just, we've all been through, you know, certain the lockdowns and all the, all the um, rules and legislations that were put in place. Right. But they don't want you just to focus on that. They want you to focus on everything else that's going on. OK. And they're going to really, really take control of the people, man, and get them to do all kinds of stuff. To, to react to all these crises, right, that are, that are, you know, present currently, right? So it's not as well defined as some brand new pathogen appearing with distinctive new symptoms, but it could well be just as deadly, he said. The World Health Organization estimates that 15 million people have, have died as a result of the CEV. Um, Sassan said investment was needed to strengthen health Systems to help prepare for the repercussions of fuel shortages, which is part of the global uh, funds uh, remit. Uh, all right, so that's that's pretty much it, right? So you know they're pushing it out there more and more that this is a real issue that's going to happen, right? But like I said, we've been saying it well before now, you know, about how the world is going to go into famine. But I, get, but guess what? Guess what? What what are these guys? What are these guys going to come up with to protect the people? You know. What is it they're gonna bring in to to you know bring hope to the people that they're gonna be able to get through it, you know, if we all just work together, you know, and you know everyone everyone <laughs> you know everyone does their part. You know, what is it they, they're gonna to introduce to help solve this situation? I wonder. Right? There's a food crisis, right? And and the whole you know whole health crisis, everything crisis, right? Revelations 13 and 16. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay, MLTB time. Okay, that's what time it's going to be, right? They're going to take complete control over the systems, the crashing systems and introduce these new systems, right? Which is going to be accessed via these MOTBs, right? You want to eat? Well, guess what? Take one of these and, you know, we can provide you with, um, you know, what you need, your rations for what you need. Uh, you know, you can be cleared to go this place, that place, because we know you're not infected or, or, or whatever, you know? Because the plagues, plagues and pesticides are, 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 you know, rolling out quickly, man. One after another, right? We just now, now we got to worry about the, you know, the monkey thing, and you know whatever, whatever comes after that during it, whatever, <laughs> right? It's all coming out, and now you got all these pro other problems that this place has got to deal with: inflation, uh, you know, uh, the food shortages, you know, and just general. Um, Societal decay, you know. Anyway, so yeah, we've been saying this for what it feels like forever, man. But you know, good if I was a possible man, we've been bringing this out for a long time, okay. And it's always going to end up this way, all right. And now, you know, your elites and all that kind of business, they're the ones coming out and saying it to you. But it's here written in the scriptures, man. All right, this is the second edition, chapter 16, verse 17. It says, uh, Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? Right, it's going to be a bad time, man. We keep bringing that down, chapter 12, verse 1. A time like no other, man. This is going to be unprecedented, man. There ain't going to be nothing you can compare the situation that this world is going to go into with anything else. Right? You can't chart this, man. You can't predict where you think this is going to go. It's going to be beyond all expectation. All right? Verse 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mourning is the beginning of famine and great death, right, beginning of famine, okay, this is what we're on the precipice of, right, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, and the and in fear, the beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come, behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment, but for all these things they, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges, behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth, which is once true. You know, people are getting upset with the petrol prices right now. <laughs> you know, they, they're surpassing two pound per litre here in the UK. Uh, that's, that's unheard of. You know? 
I remember when you know I was back in uni, so I must have been about I don't know, nineteen or whatever, man, and, and and petrol was less than a pound. But I remember even back before then, you know, when I was even younger than that, obviously, that like, petrol was like sixty four p. You know, so that must be like, I don't know, fifteen odd years ago, maybe, maybe a little bit more than that. You know, but um, yeah. Prices are, are skyrocketing right now. Okay, just in recent time, it's, it's hit this high. Okay, it was only like 120 maybe a couple of years ago, but now it's just it's two pounds in some places, you know? But anyway, see, so, yeah, so things are not really cheap or as cheap as they were. Okay, especially you're, you're, you're losing your money because of the inflation, right? Because they're just throwing money in the system and, and devaluing the money in your pocket, right? So you're not in, you know, the wages are not going up. Okay, you're not getting your, your, your pay rises or nothing like that, really. No, not keeping up with inflation at least. So you're losing more money and things are becoming more and more expensive, man. All right. Um, so, but, so, the whole victual shall be so good cheat upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. So like here. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. All right, so, hey man, it's all coming. Okay, it's all according to prophecy. All right, Second Ezra chapter twenty-two. Sorry, Second Ezra chapter six, verse twenty-two says, "Suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown." Okay, we get your problem, farmers have got problems right now with, with, with their crops. You know, uh, bringing in their crops. Some men are even getting paid to destroy their crops, man. You know, from from articles I've read and stuff, right? They, 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 it's oh yeah, all, the, all these places they're getting burnt down with, with wheat and all that kind of business, right? Suddenly, all these weird shit is happening concerning the food supply, and you know, people just want to think, oh, it's just coincidence, planes crashing into in, into farms and shit or whatever. <laughs> no, Esau is is fucking around. Okay, Esau is fucking around. Okay. Because he wants to collapse this place, man. So he's doing what he needs to do. Paying people off, burning shit down. That's what he's always been doing, man, this whole time. You don't understand this devil yet. Okay, these are, these are all, you know, tactics in war that he, that he uses, man. All right, so, so yeah, so, um, this is a, uh, suddenly shall the sown places appear on sown, and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty, okay? And, you know, because of what's going on, the farmers and that kind of business that means you know your products in your store ain't gonna get there you know ain't gonna be there right you know you're, all you're gonna be seeing is empty shelves right or shit you don't need or want on it you know but in terms of food man you're gonna be hard hard pressed to find food or, or afford food right the accessibility to it is gonna gonna disappear quickly all right Second Ezra chapter fifteen verse uh, verse fourteen where it says, "Woe to the world!" Oh, we don't. Let me jump up a little bit more. Second <coughs> uh, Ezra fifteen verse eleven says, "But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before." And will destroy all the land thereof. Okay, the Most High is sending plagues upon this world right now because the Lord is visiting this place, man. This is the time of the end. Okay, it says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that God shall bring upon it. And they that till the ground shall mourn. Okay, the, the farmers, right? For their seed shall fell through the blasting and hell and with a fearful constellation. Woe to the world and then that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another, that they shall not regard their kings or princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right? When when people realize how bad it is and they're having trouble eating, getting food, man, people are going to lose their minds, man. Okay, people lose their minds when they run, you know, they, they they can't get petrol or diesel, you know. Uh, those other types of commodities. But when it's food, that's a whole different level. Okay, that's actually physical pain you're actually going through now. You're you're going through, right? And most people, well, 
I don't know this shit, but most people ain't going to sit there and just starve to death, right? They're going to go and, and, and try and get something, right? By any means necessary. They're not going to sit there and watch their, 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 their family suffer, their children suffer. They're not going to do that, man. They're going to go out there, try and put on a brave face for you, you know, you beta males out there, maybe, <laughs> you know. But definitely... Guys that feel like they can get it done. They're going to go out there, man. These goons and these gremlins out there, they're going to go out there, man. And they're going to start doing some mad shit. All right? They're not going to sit there and starve. All right? So people are going to be fighting one another, man, to eat. Okay? It's going to become real animalistic. All right? Because everything right now, everyone's taking for granted because you can just, you know, you've got food in your cupboards and your fridges. And you can just go to, pop to the shop and get whatever you want from the shop and come back and everything's cool. Well, you ain't going to have access like that to food no more. Right, so you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna find out something about yourself, okay? Which is really it was it was deep, you know, be a deep truth about yourself that you didn't know. All right, because when 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 a man facing starvation now, we're gonna see true colors of people. You know, all this oh hi neighbor, all this all this shit. You know, acting like it was friend. <laughs> we're gonna find that. You know, we're going to see if these Edomites really love you, Jake. <laughs> you know, if they really stand side by side with you. We're going to see all of that, man. We're going to see just how people really are. Okay, when that time comes and who's got integrity and who don't. But anyway. <clears throat> this is, um... It says, for there should be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard the kings or princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city... I shall not be able, right? Peak places are going to get locked off, right? We've seen some of this already. So for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Okay, it's going to be a very terrifying time. So the man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Hi, neighbor. How do you do today? With that shit, right? They shall have no pity upon his neighbor. You know, you know them 20 years. You know, you lived next to each other 20 years. You shit, had barbecues together and... And, you know, when I, you know, go out for drinks and all that stuff, man. You know, the grandchildren, all of that, right? You're not going to care. <laughs> you know, people are not going to care afterwards in this time, right? It says, um, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. Okay? Yeah, people are going to turn feral, man, because they're, they're starving. All right? It says, for the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right, so that's what's coming, man. And you know these elites, they they they're warning you about it now. You know, but they're gonna come with a quote unquote a solution. All right, after this place goes to hell, turns into chaos. Right, they're gonna come with that solution, man, and they're gonna be offering that MLTB as a solution, and the majority of people are gonna beg for that. All right, so um, you know that's where it, that's where it leads to, man. All right, they know what they're doing, these devils, <laughs> you know. But anyway, that's all I got. So, you know, for now, I say shalom, and hopefully this is edifying our cashy brothers and sisters on the next one, man. So then, to then, shalom.